Hello, good morning, and welcome to day one of Vlogtober 2021. As I have done in years past, I do a two day delay on my Vlogtober videos. So it's actually September 29th today. So we got two days to go until October, but so I can have this up for you guys on the first. I'm filming today. It is actually a quintessential fall day outside. It is gorgeous and we've already spent a good t amount of time outside. It's actually already like one something and um, it's quiet time. I did have both boys sleeping, but one is awake now. So only one is in bed sleeping and I'm hoping to just get some things done during nap time to share with you guys for the first day. I'm preheating my oven. I wanna make some banana bread and I really want to go through like my clothing bins in my bedroom. This is something I love to do seasonally as the seasons switch over and I really need to do it to get like the rest of the summer things out of my closet that I'm really not gonna be wearing anymore and like free up hangers so that I can hang up the things that I'll wear more in the fall and winter. So I wanna work on that also this afternoon before school pickup. So I don't have a ton of time, so I'm gonna see how much I can get done. I'm also looking at a dishwasher that needs to be emptied and laundry that needs to be swapped over, but we will get it all done. And I'm so glad to take you guys along this month. So I wanna make banana bread because I have exactly three bananas left that are like perfect banana banana bread uh, ripeness. So I'm just using like an all recipes recipe and I have some butter melting. I preheated the oven so I just like, um, it calls for melted butter. So I just put it in a little dish and it'll melt while I'm kind of throwing everything else together. Debating whether or not to do chocolate chips. I feel like everything's better with chocolate chips so I think I will and then I'm gonna make muffins so that the kids can have them for breakfast tomorrow or snacks or something like that. Buddy. All right, those are in and that recipe just made 12 muffins. I can link it below. I pretty much use like a different banana muffin recipe every time I do it. I just Google it and I just go with the first one. So I'm gonna pop those in the oven. They take about 25 to 30 minutes. All right, muffins are going. So I'm going to make my smoothie for lunch. I still have this almost every day for lunch. I just love it and it's so easy and delicious. And I have a whole video about how I make it, but basically I have some kind of milk at the bottom. I change it up depending on what I have. Today I'm doing this toasted coconut almond milk. This was like a replacement because what I had ordered wasn't um, in stock, but it's actually delicious. And it's actually really, really good also in iced coffee. And then I do chia seed and um, frozen cauliflower, frozen riced cauliflower and spinach. And then I do some kind of frozen fruit, bananas, dates, almond butter, cocoa, and that's pretty much it. Blend it up and it is so good. I'm also making this now because I'm hoping that I can get Jude to go back to sleep. And so this is really loud. So I'm gonna do this while he's still awake and then hopefully I'll get him down. All right, so that is ready. I'm gonna fold this load of laundry that's all wrapped up and then grab another one from the dryer and then throw what is in the wash into the dryer. That is three. Well, this was from last night. I didn't fold. So I try to do two a day. Sometimes it's three. All right, 25 minutes later, those are done. So we're good to go for tomorrow. All right, so I have some things laid out on my bed. And then, like I said, I have my bins over there. Things are just like overflowing. It's ridiculous. So I have a lot of items from summertime that I need to kind of like pack away, like this dress and a shirt and... Like this is kind of where I put, on the top of my closet, I put shirts and sweaters that I want to fold that I don't want to hang. And then that I kind of like put up at the top of the closet and I can pull it down when I need to get something, but it's getting a little out of control. Things are just like falling everywhere. So yeah, like all that, those are dresses. So I just need to go through it. I bought a pair of pants, pair of jeans off of Land's End. And I really like the color and the cut, but I got the petite length or like the ankle length 
and they're just i'm like in between petite and regular regular a lot of times is too long for me and petite is too short so i took a shot and yeah these are too short and they were too tight i got too small of a size so i'm gonna see if i can return them to a store i did buy them online um, and then I'll maybe be able to try on the next size and also try maybe not the ankle length. Maybe try the regular and see how it works. I don't know if I should just return it. Like, I don't, I don't know when I'm going to get to the store, basically. So, I don't know if I should just go ahead and use the return slip that's in there and just send it back and just reorder. I don't know. We'll see. So, that's just going to sit there. And then, like I said, I have some things that I've bought that I haven't been able to hang up yet because... I'm kind of running out of hangers because there's things on there that I need to pull out of my closet. So yeah, like, I don't know, that dress definitely I need to pull out like some of the like t um, more tank top dresses that I may not wear as much. I can pull out that bin usually goes up there. So I need to um, whoop, pull that down and go through that and then go through these bins. And I know that there are some things in here that I never pulled out this summer. So I probably can just go ahead and donate them because if, oh, if I didn't wear them at all this summer, I probably won't wear them is kind of my thinking. Yes, I was postpartum this summer, but I really just decided like I just I love wearing dresses and I just really don't wear like tank tops and shorts hardly ever these dresses were not nursing friendly but I'll just save them for next summer this one I know is too small I'm definitely gonna donate that like too short this one also um I th I'm done with that I had it for a few years and I don't think I'm gonna keep it um this is a red sweater I love that sweater um, this one is a three-quarter length dress and it does button so I think I can actually pull that out It's a little too thick for the summer. So it actually is a good fall dress the shirt that I'm wearing now this like rust color is from Land's End also and I had bought a navy one and now I can't find it. That's interesting Okay, it had fallen on the floor of my closet, but I did just get these this year. They're just from Land's End. Um, they're just v-neck long sleeve shirts and they're really comfortable. And I got this, yeah, like this burnt uh, orangey rust color and a navy. And then I got a short sleeve brown, which actually I wore. So it's in the, uh, it's in the laundry pile. So that's going to go there. And I have one random sock. Yeah, it's just like this is kind of just the chaos of the seasonal turnover. But once I do it and it's done, I'm just always so glad that, you know, I took the time to go through it all. So yeah, I'm gonna just deal with this and Luke's still napping. I have Jude here in his car seat, actually. I'm trying to get him to go back to sleep or I was hoping he would. I just nursed him. Um, he didn't fall asleep, but we're about to go head out to do school pickup. So sometimes when he gets like all cozy in his car seat, he falls back asleep. I'm gonna work on this for a few more minutes and then we have to go head out and do pickup. Okay, so I took out everything that I am not really gonna be wearing for the rest of the fall time. I do have a couple long sleeve dresses that are, um, that I still will wear. It's still kind of warm some days, so I'm gonna keep those in there a little longer. A couple short sleeves and a couple button downs, jacket type things, sweaters, vests, and another jacket back there. So I do have some more to hang up still. I have these all to hang up. But I went through both bins and took out anything that I want to donate or, um, yeah, pretty much donate or hang up for the fall season, I should say. And then I pulled this dress out because um, my brother is actually getting married and it's just in a couple weeks. So I just pulled this one out. I think I'm going to wear it. Um, it's kind of like my go-to fall and winter dress because it has longer sleeves to it. And it's just like a really nice dark green color. So it kind of feels holiday-ish but um also kind of fall-ish and yeah it's just really cute the light just totally changed the color but i've worn it a few times already for various things it's like one of my specialty dresses that i hold on to and then i have a pile of stuff here that also needs to be dealt with but i really gotta get going i gotta go get the girls 
just making an iced coffee to bring with me. I just have the Starbucks one. Like I said, I put a little milk and a little bit of this toasted coconut. It's really good. And then I'm gonna bring this with me. I actually bought these for the kids for their lunch boxes, but they're not, I mean, one of them likes them, one of them doesn't, if it's the story of my life. Um, but it's the white chocolate macadamia. And they're just the mini size, which is nice, because sometimes cliffs are just like too too big, like too big of a, a meal. So it's like a perfect little size to have a afternoon treat. All right, so it's just before five now and kind of made it through that after school uh, rush, basically, you know, everyone needs everything and got everyone settled and cleaned out lunch boxes and the kids had, you know, after school snacks that I need to just tidy up. They cleaned up mostly, but I have a sink full of dishes I need to do and then I need to get started on something quick for dinner because we have a Bible study to go to tonight. So I'm thinking of just making ramen. I have some leftover cooked chicken in the fridge. So it's a great like quick uh, dinner I can throw together and the kids really like it. I think I'll go ahead and make some hard boiled eggs to go with them because we really like that. It just like makes it like really creamy. I don't have any fresh cilantro though and I really love fresh cilantro in my ramen, but it's okay. It'll still be delicious. So I'm gonna get to cleaning. I already folded and put away two loads of laundry. I have a load of towels in the dryer. So I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but Dan should be actually be on his way home soon. So I'm gonna kinda do all this as quick as I can. One of the reasons I love ramen so much is that it's really so quick and you can put anything in it. So I just put in some cut up chicken that we had left over and I also ooh, I had made potatoes with it, baked potatoes. And I had one left over so I threw that in, threw in some frozen veggies. So there's like green beans and corn and peas and I think carrots. And then the broth is a little bit of water and then two like cartons of uh, chicken stock. And I do use the ramen packet, like the Marushan, however you pronounce that, um, the noodles. And then I hard boiled some eggs and then I put in um, a little soy sauce and also this hoisin sauce. There's a lot of S's. And then um, Dan and I really like this. No, I see next to him. Yeah? Because that's his uncle. So this is some um, chili, like sweet chili sauce that my dad made. He roasted a bunch of chili peppers from their garden and mixed in pineapple and carrot. And it's really good, but it's also really spicy. So I only use a little bit in there. I didn't want to put it in with the soup so it's not spicy for the kids. But we're going to eat soon. It's 5.40. We have a Bible study at 6.30. So I'm probably going to start the kids eating now. And then when Dan gets here, he'll just eat quick. And then we'll head out. And the other nice thing about ramen is that it's pretty much all in one pot, especially if you already have the eggs made. And then while that was all kind of simmering together, I was able to wash all the dishes. I just have the lid for the pot and I clean the cutting board. And I'll just put the muffins in a bag and have those um, for tomorrow for breakfast. Or you know what, just, I might just throw a towel over it and they'll be, they'll be fine for tomorrow. And then also while I was cooking, I had the kids make their lunches for tomorrow. Um, the girls obviously take them to school and then sometimes Luke just make, likes to make his um, just because they're making theirs but it actually kind of helps in the afternoons even if we're just home it's just one less thing to do so he kind of likes making his own too and I actually we do have something after drop off tomorrow um, so it actually is nice that when we get back his lunch will be already made and ready to go so I'm gonna serve up the soup and I'll show you what it looks like so here's the ramen and usually I like break it up and mix in the yolk because then it makes the broth kind of creamy and I would normally top it with some cilantro but we don't have any and then here's the uh, chili sauce so I'm just gonna put like really just a tiny bit it's pretty spicy you want some yeah. you want a little bit right, hold on let me do it for you because it's pretty spicy bud a little bit and then you blend it in okay mix it all in together 
All right, so we are back from Bible study. It's about 9.30 and kids are all in bed. Dan's kind of finishing up things in the kitchen. I'm folding a final load of laundry and towels and things like that. Um, and we're gonna call it a night. So thanks so much for watching Vlogtober day one and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on these daily vlogs this month. And I'll be talking to you soon. Take care, bye.